Okay, welcome back guys. D2 Gaming here. So I decided just to record the game and not stream it anymore because it keeps crashing, but we'll see if if we still crash while recording then I don't know what's wrong because I got i7 7700K and 1080 Ti. So what the fuck? Um, what's next? Oh yeah, we're about to go to the... Oh, we're here in the cryo. We were talking to the new guy. Anyway, let's talk about this one. I'm sure the bastards were getting around to it. Yeah, sure. Glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? The captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the cat. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I haven't heard how he died. Like a hero. That's how. That's the <laughs> the that fuck? Matters. There's no details on the I doctor. I met one Pathfinder. Well, two with you. But I figure that's the way to go. Taking your last breath on an uncharted world. Yeah, sounds about right. Now I just need to make sure your brother here pulls through. Mm. Are you staying here in the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning in the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. What will you do on the Hyperion? We still have thousands of people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way, I can look out for Scott. How's Scott doing? His condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so he's dreaming. It means all the wiring still works. How did this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600-year nap that wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another writer. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis <laughs> that's all Harry thanks don't be a stranger if anything changes with Scott I'll let you know brother Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. 
We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Okay. Back for a visit? That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, Greer. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. You and Liam hadn't found me in that cave. God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father. Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but Kirkland was a friend. I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Damn, she never woke up from stasis. So sad. Woo! There's no memory trigger for dad.
Where could I... Where could I... Get the trigger? In the room? I've searched everything. Father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Welcome back, Sarah. That's all for now. Of course. Perhaps... There's been trouble on the station. We just got here. How did you know that already? Word gets around. Does it now? People talk to me? Anyway, as soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mintoir colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind, but I have friends here too. I love piloting, but I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this, now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but... Someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Yeah, good girl. Have to go now. See you later. Talk to you later. Where could I fucking get the triggers? I've searched everywhere. It's like I have to find the triggers first. What is that sound? Operations. Perhaps there's a trigger there. Can't talk to her. Radiation shields and handles. 
I hate you should. Where can I find it? Oh, okay. Throughout the world, Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> We used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Damn. They call her the Tempest. Yeah! Finally. Woo! Yes! Wow. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. <laughs> 14 months late. <laughs> So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra? Ooh, a female. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? Female. The we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. But right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. <laughs> Politics. Finally, so cares about so gorgeous. And not just talking about it. So gorgeous. 
20 minutes in recording and no crash so I really want to live stream this one everything state-of-the-art labs sensors exploration gear lesser crew of course the best in their field good to see you're looking so well Sarah the engine core is based on the arcs odyssey drive it runs a hell of a lot quieter that's Gil Brody Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. <laughs> we call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Every plan the initiative made is out the window. Now it's on us to find the way. We all came here ready for a challenge. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Ooh, we're gonna explore first! Of course! Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. Strike team we call ready this the deployment. research room. Pause you can run research Check projects deployed. and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Yeah. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We can craft our way through. Turn the junk we find into an advantage. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after worth for you. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Aerial lubricant. <laughs> Aerial performance optimizer. Aerial stabilizer. How many points do I have? It needs 50 Andromeda points. Development. I'll prioritize leg.
coolant unit. Augmentation. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I want the one fill assist module. Plasma. Okay. Wonder how fast that engine core clocks in. 